and be beaten. This is what we end up with. There's our mark. What's this one? Good morning and welcome back. We got ourselves a brisk one this morning. Hey, we got a little bit of snow last night. Not enough to really do anything. But we are working in the shop today. Put my, see my lock? And we are doing another hatchet build with a little different design. Now, this is the other one that I made. You can see we got a little bit of an arch there coming down. Well, this one is going to be a little more pronounced. It's going to go straight up, hook over. And come back down this could be a Christmas gift and I am quickly running out of time it's about five days to Christmas six days seven days seven days to Christmas for me to get this done if you guys watched the last video you will see I made that bench there I got it in place now it's gonna be sitting over there all these gas cans are going to get filled up today but we are gonna put the bandsaw to work because we're gonna cut out a nice cheery handle but first things first is we got to get this head shaped and how we're going to do that is we're going to take this cutoff wheel. We're going to cut a whole bunch of lines up here. All the way up here. And we're going to take it we're going to cut them all out. And then we're going to take the flapper disc and we're going to shape that to what we want. Got our lines cut in there. Now we're going to go across this way here and cut most of it out. All right, so here's what we end up with. There's our mark. Most of this is cut out. Now we're going to do the rest of that with the flapper wheel. I'll get this knocked out and I'll get right back to you. All right, we got this all cut out here. Didn't cut too bad. We got to trim up the edges here, make them look nice and symmetrical on both sides. That's pretty close to our final shape right there. Well, we got the eye all cleaned out, as you can see there, nice and symmetrical still. We're going to take the file. We're going to file this down so it's nice and smooth. We need this to have the same angle. So if I, stand, if, if I stand this up on the table, you'll see it want to go to one side. You look on the back side here, you can see the side where my thumb is, is higher than the other side. So, so we're going to end up taking that down so it's even with the other side. I know it would go a whole lot easier if I had this in advice. And, in advice? In advice. And worked it that way. However, like I mentioned before, I got wood floors. Sparks, wood floors, and the odd gas can. Yeah, it's just a recipe for disaster. But on a good note, I got a fire extinguisher right there. However, judging on the amount of gas cans and the size of that fire extinguisher, I might lose. Yeah, it's a little bit straighter there. Let's see what happens. Still got a little bit of an angle to it, but... We can make it work. That's not looking too bad down here. Obviously needs a little bit more filing. I want to make this here a nice arc. And I'm debating whether to take a quarter of an inch off the bottom here. Just to shorten this up a little bit. I think that might be a little too tall. Maybe not. If you look at this, you can see all the high and lows here. I'm going to try and file this down so it's flat. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's coming down. All right, back in the shop. It's still a little cold to go fishing. I might try and hit that tomorrow, but we got to get this axe finished. So here's where we're at. We've got the head fitting pretty good. All right, whoops, you okay? Full disclosure, I am not forging these axe. Oof, I can't even speak. These axe heads from scratch. I am buying them, and then I am just shaping them the way that I like to shape them. So we've got this axe head fitting pretty good right now. Now that what we got to do is take the handle down so that it's more comfortable. I got this one here sitting for comparison. If you saw in the other video, I made this axe myself as well as the handle, which, which turned out pretty good as far as I'm concerned. This one here, well, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with this one yet. It's going to have a much smaller handle on it, as you can see, size-wise. This one's got about an inch on it. And by the time I get this one shaped all down, Plus the head's considerably smaller. Now guys, we're not chopping down redwood trees with this thing here. This is, just, this is nothing more than splitting kindling. And it'll be used, it's just not to hang on the wall. But. wasn't meant to be anything pretty all I wanted to do is get some off of the sides now I'm gonna get out the uh, flapper disc I'm gonna knock some of this down and I better really reshape the end of this because it's looking like something I don't want it to look like see what I mean It is a new day out here in the shop, and I got myself a bit of a dilemma. Check this out. Don't mind all the sanding dust. I've been busy. So, I am not an expert at making a handle, okay? This one's not looking too bad. I was going to knock this off the bottom here and just have a straight handle, okay? You look at the top. I got the eye going the wrong way. It is what it is. This was the first one I did. Now, I spent darn near a full day shaping this handle. Problem is, no matter what I did, I could not get it to stop looking like a pecker. So, that one is gone. This one is gone. Obviously, like I said, I got the eye going the wrong way. When I did this one here, I got lucky. Just no two ways about it. I got lucky. Now I spent a few hours yesterday trying to shape this handle here and I do like the way it you know it goes one it just goes straight down into the left well to your right. Now let me do it this way. It comes straight down, just kind of hooks over to the side. There's no fancy little whoop whoops in there, it's just a straight down and over. I cut it off there and I'd have been happy. But no, I had to go and screw it up. Is what it is. You live and learn. I'm not going to dwell on it any longer. Uh, pecker, garbage. Now this here is a piece of Turkish walnut. Very nice character. That's some impressive stuff right there. This is regular walnut. Not as impressive as this. This is going to be a gift. So I want it to look nice. So I did a little bit of looking around and I found some more. Turkish walnut. Look at that character. See? Look at that. So we're going to use this. As if I haven't made enough dust in here already. Just, I hate sanding. I mentioned it before. I hate sanding and all the dust and dirt is the reason I hate sanding. 
I know, that's what they make shop vacs for. But let me get this thing cut down and we'll see what we can do. I'll leave it to me. I almost screwed it up again. We're down to our basic shape. Now what I want to do is I want to keep it narrow in here. I want to come back a little wider in here for the grip. So I think we're coming along okay. There's going to be the top. I got a draw note on there. We're going to knock that down a little bit more. But then we're going to shape the handle with this and create a ton more sawdust that I don't like. Also, I'm going to cut the back off of this. And then I'm going to slip. Kind of hard to do this with one hand, but I'll do my best here. Then what happens is this is going to have an L shape on top like that. That was sitting there like this. And then there'll be a hole, a hole screwed into here and screws into the back. It's a nice decorative piece on there. I get a hold. Or it won't. One or the other. But I think that's going to do it for tonight. It's getting a little late. I'm going to head in the house and grab me some food because my stomach's telling me it is that time. I'll see you all in the morning. Good morning and welcome back to the next day of our hatchet build. Rainy, couple days before Christmas. Kind of blah. Now, a couple things. I like to keep things real here, as you all know. If you've been around for the channel for any length of time, if I go fishing and get nothing, I show you. If I go hunting and get nothing, I show you. I don't show you the perfect product at the end of the day. Uh, because that's the reality. That is life. That's trying. That's me just trying to keep things real for you. Uh, and watching a lot of the hatchet builds and what some of these guys are doing. No, I'm not forging these from scratch. I am taking a hatchet and I am shaping it the way I want. So, well, I've been having a bit of a problem with the handles. I'm having trouble getting a handle on things. Have a look. All right, so handle number one. Nice piece of walnut. Looks really nice. It's got the nice little arc to it. However, if you look closely, the bottom of the handle, which I did not finish, and the arc are going the opposite direction to the eye. No good. Second handle. Didn't turn out too bad. I got the arc nice. I like the arc there. The problem is, I couldn't get it to stop looking like a pegger. Handle number four. No, that's three. Nice piece of Turkish walnut. I think it looks pretty good. Um, I could not get this to seat properly, no matter what I did. And I tried to do a little something fancy around the bottom of the head. Nah, no good. The bottom of the handle didn't look too bad at all. It was coming along nicely. Just needed some sanding. But I royally screwed this up. That brings us to handle number four. Yes, a store-bought handle. And it doesn't even pain me to buy it. So here's what we got. We got a nice hickory handle. I took the sticker off that. I sanded all the varnish off of this. Uh, because that will just create you a problem when it comes to finishing it the way I want to finish it. It's already got the cut for the wedge. That's a little crooked, but it'll work. Wedge I just cut out of Turkish walnut. It's already set to fit in there. Now hopefully that'll contrast nicely with the hickory. So as I may or may not have told you, this hatchet is for my son-in-law Luke. Now, unfortunately, he's a firefighter. and We're not going to get into that hole. However, his badge number is 917. So I thought about trying to burn a 917 in here. I do have a wood burning kit. I suck at it. Let's be real. There ain't nothing professional about it. But what I'm going to try and do is I went and robbed Ella's sticker collection. Now this is probably going to burn right off. But I'm going to take the numbers 917. The idea is if I got the 917 on here, run the torch over it. And get this all burnt in before this sticker burns up. If the sticker burns up, kind of, that's a well, but that's what we're going to do. So let's see if we can make it work. Okay, they're not sticking. Why are they not sticking? Well, that's kind of how this build's been going. I just screwed up the only two nines that I got on that particular sheet. But this one in the house and robbed the whole package. So I'm going to go through this and find a nine that I can use. Or a completely different 917. And uh, I'll get back to you. Really getting crafty now. I found some with gold numbers on it. 
imagine they're not going to stay gold very long. Let me get these numbers on and I'll show you. There we go. We're going to see if we can get the torch fired up and this burned in before the sticker melts. What are the chances? Let me know down below quickly. Pause the video. Is it going to work or not? We're all going to find out together. Let's do this. Do you all see that? I don't know. Let's see what happened here. Well, it made the, uh, it burnt the letters to a crisp. I'm not so certain just how this worked or didn't work. That was a fail. Did not work. Well, after a little more tedious sanding, we got the 9, we got the 1. The 7 is almost there. I got a little bit more up there to do, but I'm going to do that after. I got to burn in the rest of this here. All right, it's still pretty hot, but here we are. So we got it darkened up a little bit. My 917 stayed there, which is good for now. I take some uh, 400 grit, run over this a little bit, knock a little bit of the dark off, and then we're going to put a finish on it. Oh, well, here's where we're at. There's the handle. Turned out pretty good. Not so certain about that. We're going to maybe deal with that in a bit. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do there. Now we're going to mount the head. Put the wedge in, then we're going to put a finish on it. What are we going to use? Zero W20 synthetic. It's a pretty nice fit right there. Some people glue wedges in, some people don't. I don't make enough of these to really figure out what works and what doesn't, but I figure the glue cannot hurt. All right, let's put it in there. Now I made sure the wedge was going to be tight to the front and the back. We're going to let this set up and dry off. Then we're going to cut the top off. That way it'll be nice and smooth. Uh, some people leave a little bit of this up the top. I don't mind that. But uh, for this one here, we're going to cut it right flush. All we're going to do is put the 0W20 on this and we can call it done. Uh, did I say 0W20? Apparently we're using 5W30 today. Because we're in a cold climate. Hmm, that smells delicious. Did anybody else like the smell of used motor oil? Or am I just kind of weird? That looks beautiful. Y'all see that? Look at that. That looks beautiful. Well, it's almost uh, complete. I had just a minor incident. I know I did this so you all would learn to be careful with what's going on. When you're dealing with used motor oil, well, this can happen. We just kind of move that out of the way. That'd be a DeWalt drill. That's going to cost me. And, uh, well... Yep, we got a little bit down the side there. What I did was I set it down on here so that it would fall over so that I could make a mess so that I can show you you got to be careful. How am I going to explain that one? You know, the funny thing is, is I set that container down 
twice on the handle of that hammer and uh, it almost fell over twice so I you know third time's the charm I set it down the way she went I think we'll be all right everybody needs to lubricate their DeWalt drills and stuff like that once in a while that keeps them happy I'm guessing uh, Exxon would have been proud of this one. You know, if a guy was smart, and I ain't saying I am, but rather than paper towel that, you just made yourself a whole bunch of sawdust. Let me just cover it in sawdust, let it soak it up, and then scrape it off. Mm-hmm, right there. That's called using your lid. It don't happen often, trust me. I think it's almost time for me to buy a bag of cage litter. What a mess. Alright, well that adds a little bit of character to that wood. Unplanned, but, you know. It works. Well, there it is. I think it turned out really good. Decided at the last minute to leave a little bit of the top showing. The head is on there good and tight. Hopefully Luke likes it. The 917 is not the greatest, but it is what it is. Video, I hope you all enjoyed that. I hope you all had a Merry Christmas. Uh, I'm not sure when you're watching. Actually, this video might go up Christmas Day. So, uh, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Uh, I think 2024 is going to kick us in the behind, but make the best of it. And most of all, don't make the 6 o'clock news. I'll see you all in the next one. Later.